Civil Engineering, Docks and Harbors Section 1. Question 1. According to the recommendations of International Navigational Congress in 1912, the ratio of length to width at the entrance for cargo vessels is a. 5.5 and 6.0 to 1 b. 6.2 and 6.8 to 1 c. 7.4 and 7.8 to 1 d. 8.2 and 8.5 to 1 The correct answer is option C 7.4 and 7.8 to 1. Question 2. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. An artificial barrier which makes the enclosed area safe for anchorage of ships, is known as breakwater. B. The breakwater whose inside is used as a plate form for loading and unloading is called a mole. C. The length of the key wall is governed by the length of the largest vessel likely to be berthed. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 3. Buoys which support the cables to which vessels are attached are of A. Cylindrical shape. B. Drum. C. Pear shaped. D. Spherical shape. E. All of these. The correct answer is option E. All of these. Question 4. The beach is built. A with largest material locally available to the waves b with large material locally available to the waves c with fine material locally available to the waves d with finest material locally available to the waves The correct answer is option A with largest material locally available to the waves. Question 5. Flow of air from one place to the other is caused due to A. The sum of elevation B. Pressure head C. Velocity head D. All of the above The correct answer is option D all of the above. Question 6. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. For nautical purposes, low water level is generally referred to by the navigators. B. The depth of the bed of the sea from the surface of water is called sounding. C. The contour lines on the bed of a water body are called fathoms. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 7. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The direction of the littoral drift depends upon the direction of the wave with respect to the coastline. B. The direction of a river opening to the sea determines the direction of no littoral drift. C. Harbor in the path of littoral drift is not constructed to avoid a buildup of sand on one side and erosion on the other. D. All of the above. The correct answer is option D. All of the above. Question 8. A low wall built out into the sea more or less perpendicular to the coastline to resist the travel of sand and shingle along a beach, is called a. breakwater b. break wall c. groins d. shore wall
The correct answer is option C groins. Question 9. At a place the shoreline is along northwest southeast. The wind is blowing from the north. The literal drift will be along A. Southeast B. South C. Southwest D. West E. Northwest The correct answer is option E all of these. Question 10. According to the recommendations of International Navigational Congress in 1912, the ratio of length to width at the entrance for passenger vessels is A. 7.2521 B. 7.80 to 1 C. 8.11 to 1 D. 8.44 to 1 The correct answer is option D 8.44 to 1. Question 11. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The operation of removing material from the sea or riverbed is known as B. Dredging C. Digging D. None of these The correct answer is option A. The operation of removing material from the sea or river bed is known as. Question 12. Literal drift. A. Is the raised line of sand, parallel to the sea coast. B. Is the slow movement of surface water at sea caused by the wind. C. Is a current parallel to the shore, caused due to tangential component of the wind. D is a current perpendicular to the shoreline caused due to wind. The correct answer is option C is a current parallel to the shore, caused due to tangential component of the wind. Question 13. The heaviest line is used to democrate? A. The low water line. B. The high water line. C. The limit of swamps. D. The direction of current. The correct answer is option B. The high water line. Question 14. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. The soundings are made with respect to the mean low water. B. The soundings which are below the datum are written in black on the map. C. The spot heights of the features above datum are written in red on the map. D. The decimal point of the sounding value is at the exact position of the sounding. E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 15. Pick up the correct statement function following. A. The coarse material which has a smaller angle of repose, causes a steeper beach slope. B. The coarse material which has a greater angle of repose, causes a steeper beach slope. C. The flattening out of the beach is caused due to the movement of small and uniform particles leeward. D. Both B and C. The correct answer is option D. Both B and C. Question 16. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The regular periodic rise and fall of the surface of the sea, is called tide. b. The average difference in water level between high tide and low tide at a place, is called tidal range. c. The movement of water caused by the action of tide, is called a tidal current. 
D. All of the above. The correct answer is option D. All of the above. Question 17. Depth of borings for soil investigation is generally kept below low water level. A. 30 meters. B. 35 meters. C. 45 meters. D. 40 meters. The correct answer is option C 45 M. Question 18. Which one of the following landmarks on the coastline must be depicted on hydrographic maps? A. Shoreline. B. Lighthouses. C. Church spires. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 19. A lead line or sounding line? A. Is stretched thoroughly when wet before it is graduated. B. Should be soaked in water for about one hour prior to taking soundings. C. Is adjusted at regular interval. D. Is generally used for depths exceeding 6 meters. E. All the above. The correct answer is option E all the above. Question 20. The smoothened surface of the front face of the gay walls is known as fending which is made of A. Granite stone B. Timber C. Steel D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 21. The shoreline survey includes A. Depicting the shoreline B. Depicting the prominent details on shoreline C. Depicting the high water line D. Depicting the low water line E. All the above The correct answer is option E all the above. Question 22. Which one of the following statements is not relevant to hydrographic survey? A. Establishment of a chain of benchmarks near the shoreline. B. Establishment of horizontal control points on the shore. C. Determination of the seabed profile. D. Depicting the irregularities in the shoreline, islands and projecting rocks. E. None of these. The correct answer is option E. None of these. Question 23. The important component of a seaport is. A. Terminal buildings. B. The docks. C. The harbor. D. All of these. The correct answer is option D. Both B and C. Question 24. Cretans. A. Are the harbors established on the island southeast of Greek mainland? B. Are the natives of Crete, an island south of Greek mainland? C. Are the plants, grown in the neighborhood of harbors? D. None of the above. The correct answer is option B. Are the natives of Crete, an island south of Greek mainland? Question 25. The fixed mooring does not require A. Mooring post B. 
Bollard. C. Anchors. D. Capstan. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 26. The low water datum for a lake is defined as the surface of the lake when it is at elevation. A. 180.5 meters above them SL. B. 190.5 meters above them SL. C. 170.5 meters above them SL. D. 200.0 meters above them SL. The correct answer is option A 180.5 M above MSL. Question 27. A harbor is a place where A. Ships get shelter and protection against destructive forces due to sea waves. B. Facilities are provided for receiving cargo and passengers. C. Port buildings are constructed for commercial purposes. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 28. Pick up the incorrect statement from the following, in a dry dock block made of hard wood. A. Spacing of the blocks is 1.35 meters. B. The lowest block is 1.8 meters long 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters in cross section. C. The middle block is 1.6 meters long 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters in cross section. D. The top block is 1.2 meters long 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters in cross section. E. None of these. The correct answer is option E. None of these. Question 29. On a hydrographic map, the following feature is shown. A. Datum. B. High and low water lines. C. Depth contours. D. Land and water areas. E. All the above. The correct answer is option E all the above. Question 30. Due to the impact of water wave on a seashore structure. A. Hydrostatic pressure coupled with a strong momentary impact is caused. B. Vibrations are subjected. C. Internal pressure is developed. D. Weakens the foundation. E. All of the above. The correct answer is option E. All of the above. Question 31. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The breakwater which can be used as a platform for loading and unloading of cargo is called a mole. B. The brick masonry retaining wall which is used for loading and unloading of cargo is called gay wall. C. Three types of breakwaters are generally provided in harbors. D. All of the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 32. The dock wall is designed as a gravity retaining wall and is tested for. A. Backfill pressure when the dock is empty. B. Maximum water pressure from the dock without any backfill. C. The load charge transmitted to the dock by the movement of loaded vehicles or trains on the way. D. All of the above. The correct answer is option D. All of the above. 
Question 33. The shape of docks and basins is generally kept. A. Rectangular ways. B. Diamond-shaped gauze. C. Inclined gauze. D. All of these. The correct answer is option D both B and C. Question 34. Surf zone is A. The fathom line of 10 meters depth. B. The fathom line of 5 meters depth. C. The swell of the sea breaking on the shore or reefs. D. The coastline attacked by the waves. The correct answer is option C 7.4 and 7.8 to 1. Question 35. Which one of the following lines is used for tying a ship with a dock? A. Bow line. B. Stern line. C. Spring line. D. Brake line. E. All of these. The correct answer is option E all of these. Question 36. Soundings are required for A. Making nautical charts for navigation B. Ascertaining the areas subject to scour or silting C. Obtaining detailed information for construction D. All the above The correct answer is option D all the above. Question 37. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The artificial barrier constructed to enclose an area for safe anchorage is called breakwater. B. The smoothened surface at the top end of the vertical face of a gay wall is called fending. C. The effective berthing lengths of inclined guas can be adjusted. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 38. For location of soundings a range and one angle from the shore involves the following operations. Which one is correct? A. A range line is established. B. The first and the last soundings and every tenth soundings are fixed by angular observations. C. The intermediate soundings are fixed by the time intervals. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 39. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The Mediterranean Sea is considered to be a huge harbor. B. The Caspian Sea is considered to be a big harbor. C. The Red Sea is considered to be harbor. D. None of the above. The correct answer is option A. The Mediterranean Sea is considered to be a huge harbor. Question 40. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. A harbor without any port complex is called a refuge harbor. B. A harbor used for fishery is called fishery harbor. C. The terminal building of a commercial harbor consists of an administrative block customs clearance and warehouses. D. All the above. The correct answer is option D. All the above. Question 41. Pick up the incorrect statement from the following. A. As a wave of seawater approaches the coastline, 
it is generally accompanied by a drift of water in the direction of wave advance. b. The onshore wind helps to produce wave action as well as rise of MSL. c. A falling hydraulic gradient occurs in the direction of the wave. d. The wave while receding carries finer particles out to deep water. The correct answer is option C. A falling hydraulic gradient occurs in the direction of the wave. Question 42. In a wet dock system, A. Minimum required depth of water for the vessels is maintained. B. Entrance locks are provided with massive gates. C. The locks of dock gate are operated by means of heavy bascule bridges and connected machinery. D. The cost of construction is quite heavy. E. All the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Question 43. A roadstead. A. Is a protected area of water where boats can move safely. B. Is the end of the road at the harbor. C. May be protected by breakwater walls. D. None of these. The correct answer is option A is a protected area of water where boats can move safely. Question 44. The width of the entrances of the harbors is restricted to A. 100 meters B. 125 meters C. 150 meters D. 180 meters The correct answer is option D 180 M. Question 45. Pick up the correct statement from the following. A. The tides at any place occur a little less than one hour later, each succeeding day. B. The difference in time in solar hours and minutes from any lunar transit to the succeeding transit, is called high water level. C. The influence of the Earth's gravity alone produces level tidal less C. D. The spinning force is maximum at the equator and zero at the poles. E. All of the above. The correct answer is option E. All the above. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share. Please comment, like, and share.